Update 3 on Typhoon Matmo, which has not intensified in the past few days, only slightly initially, but has weakened again to winds of 75 miles per hour and a pressure of 974 millibars. Its position is now 14.5 degrees north, 127.8 degrees east, as of 2pm UTC July 20th. The track forecast calls for the storm to continue towards the northwest, peaking as a Category 3 storm before making landfall in Taiwan and then moving on to China. Um, and it will also be a bit close for comfort for the Philippines as well. Uh, rainfall from the storm could lead to some more flooding and mudslides over that region Obviously, after Ramerson last week, um, it could be such uh, it could be a situation where we'll see some flooding there too. Uh, but Taiwan is really um, un the, the main cause for concern because it could receive t uh, Category Three typhoon conditions in three days' time. Um, fairly likely to see tropical storm conditions at the very least there in a few days. Sea surface temperatures remain very warm for the storm, 30 degrees plus, except for a little pocket uh, below that, just to the east of Taiwan, uh, still recovering those waters from Neoguri last week. Um, in, in terms of wind shear, remaining fairly low for the next day or two. Um, uh, uh, there's, a, there's an area now where the storm's heading into where it is very low indeed, but it is expected to rise again as it approaches Taiwan. Um, in terms of water vapour imagery, you can see it here. Uh, you can see lots of rainfall extending into the Philippines, but most of it remaining out to sea. In terms of dry air intrusion, it doesn't look like that's going to be an issue. Computer models and the CMC takes it towards the north, um, actually missing Taiwan completely, the CMC model, uh, taking it through the Japanese islands instead, and then moving on to China where it will make landfall as a typhoon, and then another typhoon forming behind that as well, what looks like a rather severe one. The GFS model um, will clip the northern coast of Taiwan after passing the um, Yayama Islands of Japan, and then making landfall in China, so either way the northernmost area of Taiwan uh, we may see typhoon conditions, but definitely the coast of China, by the looks of things, will receive some typhoon conditions as well in a few days. After Taiwan, of course. Um, is the latest satellite imagery. It's also worth pointing out that if the storm does make landfall on Taiwan, that is, if in effect, good news for China because it will be weaker by the time it gets to China if it does cross Taiwan first. Uh, this is the latest satellite imagery. You can see how the storm's been moving towards the west-northwest over the past few hours on this floater imagery. Little bits of piece, bits and pieces of rainfall moving over the Philippine Islands, southern Luzon, Samar in particular, uh, seeing some rainfall and some thunderstorms there as well. Uh, winds are probably not going to be too strong over there maybe to tropical storm strength a little bit here and there uh, gusting perhaps but most of the storm is remaining out to sea and it's a rather intense core even though there's no pronounced eye at the moment as of July 20th at 2 p.m. UTC, there's nothing going on in the Western Hemisphere anymore. It's all in the Eastern Hemisphere, where we have, of course, Typhoon Matno. What's left of Ramerson over the Asian area, Asian continent, and uh, Invests 96 and 97W, 97 forming in the past few hours near the international dateline. 39 storms have formed so far in 2014 worldwide. 16 of those have become Category 1 hurricane equivalent cyclones with winds of 74 miles per hour and higher. Ten of those have gone on to become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour plus. This storm is still forecasted to become the 11th. You can stay up to date on any of Force 13's six outlets. The website, force13.com, will keep you most up to date with all the goings on around the world. The video pages, YouTube and Daily Motion, will keep you up to date with all of the um, video updates on any significant storm threats. Just search Force 13 on those. You're probably watching one of those right now. And of course, the social pages, Facebook and Twitter, will also be keeping you up to date regularly, sometimes in between videos. Just search Force 13 on those. It's at Force 13 on Twitter. And you can add Fool 13 on Skype if you so wish for personal tropical weather chat. The next update on this storm will follow at 2am UTC, but after that I will be away, so updates may be harder to come by, but I'll still try and do my best to uh, keep you regularly updated on videos. Mobile updates, of course. That's all for now.